Hey y'all, welcome back to Ariana Makes It. I am Ariana. Um, today's kombucha day. And I figured, I got almost through this entire process and I was like, I've never taught them how to make kombucha. So, I'm doing the kombucha. I've done the kombucha vinegar. I've done the kefir. I've done the sourdough. I even did the sauerkraut. I got a story about that later. Um, but I never did a kombucha. Anyway. Kombucha is nothing more than sweet tea and a scoby plus a little bit of starter fluid. Sweet tea, a scoby, a little bit of starter fluid. Not starter fluid, but, you know, starter tea. Um, and the sweet tea only has tea, sugar, and water, you know. Uh, so simple to make, and I... To this day, I still really cannot understand why people are just spending so much money if they drink it a lot. Now, it's okay if you drink one bottle here and there. I mean, I get it. It's quite acidic. Um, and you, you might not want to drink it every day. But if you're a pop drinker, and I actually grew up a pop drinker. My family was, we were pop drinkers. There was always like four two liters in a house of different types of pop, like coke no my, i think my mom was a coke drinker my dad was pepsi drinker and so that's we always had two liters and that's what we drank and sweet tea so when i became an adult i kind of started drinking seltzers uh seltzer water and everything like that but there are times where i just want that sweetness and the 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 fizz and that's where kombucha comes in. So I drink it more often than not, which is why I started making it. But if you're only drinking it, like, maybe once or twice a month, then yeah, by all means, just buy it. It's not worth it. Unless you really just want to make kombucha. So here, this is my Scobie Hotel. This, this big honking thing. I got this jar from, um, it has a lid. I got this jar from Target for about 25 bucks. And this I only use for all of my extra pellicles. Okay. So we've covered what is the what makes up the kombucha. But how does it become how does it go from sweet tea to kombucha? You need a scoby and you need some starter tea. Now, if you ever you we obviously you drink it, you're watching the video. If you actually look down here, that's the mother. And it hasn't formed because they bottled it. And they didn't give it any more food. It didn't have to form anything. But if you were to feed it more sweet tea, it will form. One of these things. This is the baby. This is what just formed, so it's not quite big. This was a baby. It's got a little bit more. It's got a little bit more heft to it. This is what came off of. This little bitty one came off of this. This came off of this. And every time I give it sweet tea, it's going to give off more. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. Like Amish friendship bread. Oh, disclaimer. Do not wash your hands with like soap that's antibacterial. My, my tap water has chlorine in it. I'm not saying that's going to clean my hands. But if I put antibacterial soap on my hands, then that will kill the scobies and all the living properties of this tea. So here I have my scobies in my receptacle. I'm going to take out just enough to cover it. I'm not doing anything with this one. I'm just going to give it a little bit more sweet tea because this is the hotel. This is the reservoir, but I don't want my scobies to dry out. So I'm just going to cover them because... 
I'm gonna start some. God, I hope I don't burn my phone. You're sitting on my stove. Let's do it this way. Girls got big brains today. She just moved it from one burner to the next. <laughs> big brain on mommy. Yeah. Anyway. So. We're going to taste it. Mm, bottoms up. Y'all want to know the truth. I have gone through this, these steps five times already. Trying to get the best angle, get the best light. <laughs> um, so I tasted it like five times and I just want, I, I really just want to bottle this. I don't even want to bottle it. Because I'm, this is just good. You know, it's not fizzy yet. Because I haven't fed it a second time. Um, whew, this is good. This has been aging for two weeks. And normally I only let it go for about a week. I let it go for about a week. Uh, because of the temperature. But I guess it's been cooler in my house lately. And so it took a little bit longer for it to do its business. The one we are going to do. The one we are going to work with is another hotel. This is the one that I'm actually going to brew with. This bad boy right here. And I got to pull the scoby out of that. Oh, I got two. There's two in there. If they tear, they, they're fine. So a SCOBY is a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. That's it. A symbiotic culture of yeast and bacteria. It's that stuff at the bottom of apple cider vinegar, raw apple cider vinegar. I can't believe I just wiped my hands on the cover for this. I'm gonna taste this one too. This one I haven't tasted. So, this one I did with ginger. Ginger kombucha, which is why I have this bottle here. The last time I did it, I put all of my starter tea in the um, the hotel. And I had already put my scoby in here. But that by the time that I got ready to do this one, that one, the starter tea had already been so diluted that it wasn't going to do anything in here. So I had to go searching for bottles of kombucha for that so I could lower the pH. Now, I did some research, and they said that you could lower the pH with, like, white vinegar. I don't want to do it. You know, I would just rather go find a bottle of raw kombucha which is this but it took me a minute so I had to get the ginger I think this is the one with the ginger if I'm not mistaken nope so oh, that's why I don't like it no this one has kiwi juice in it uh, that's why I don't like commercial kombucha they age it for 30 days that's entirely too tart for me. Um, it's just like sipping down really acidic vinegar. Not even toned down vinegar. Acidic straight white vinegar with a dab of sugar. I don't like it. My kids don't like it. So let's taste this one that I haven't tasted yet. So this is the time of year where I start doing this. Like I said, this one I haven't tasted. Let's find out. That one's not as good. This is what I have to, um, 
I think it's because this one is still just a little too sweet for me. So now in front of the camera, I'll have about 20 tea bags seeping in some hot water, hot distilled water. I'm cleaning out my jar while that's seeping for the 20 minutes that I need it to seep. I'm going to eventually add that to a simple syrup that I'm going to make. It's a half gallon of distilled vinegar, uh, distilled water, uh, one and a half cups of sugar. I'm going to stir it, get that sugar incorporated, and then I'm going to pour that tea that's been seeping for 20 minutes into that. And then I'm going to let that lower in temperature uh, so that it's safe for me to add my Scopies. Because remember, it is a living, breathing thing. I'm going to feed it. I don't want to kill it. So temperature control is very good. Here I'm adding the starter tea to make sure that pH can get lowered down just enough. And here we go. I'm doing the same thing. I just cleaned my uh, Scobie Hotel out. I'm making sure the temperature's right. It's about 83 degrees, so it's safe. I'm checking everything. I'm adding my pellicles in, and I'm just gonna let that sit and do its thing for about forever. Um, added a, another bottle of water just to be on the safe side, just to make sure it, you know, the temperature was low. Same thing. I'm adding my scobies and my starter tea, putting it away, and getting ready. So, we've brewed our sweet tea, we changed our scoby hotel, we cleaned the vessel, we cleaned the, uh, we brewed another batch of kombucha. I, uh, in the interim of all of that, I made three ginger kombuchas, two beets, and a carrot spice. The beets, oh, don't be, it does not have that earthy flavor that the beets have. But if you can look real closely, let's see, not that one so much. You see all those little bitty bubbles forming? That's that tea eating again. That's the, that kombucha eating again. It's now it's going to be, and now, through this second ferment, those bubbles. This is active and eating and it's loving it. Same with the ginger. A little bitty bubbles forming. And because they've been capped off, it's gonna trap all that carbon dioxide and it has no place else to go but back into the tea, which is gonna give it that fizzy flavor. So we've done that. We've cleaned our hotels. We've made a new batch. That's going to ferment maybe another two weeks. I don't know. But um, I'm really happy with the process. Now I'm going to clean up and I'm going to do a review for Timu. <laughs> I have been wanting... Um, I, I don't keep my spices in the jars. I put them in spice jars. And then um, I seal it. You don't need to know all that. This is a kombucha video. Either way, we've we've done what we were supposed to do. Um, it's not going to. What's up, bird? Hey, bird. My bird is in the kitchen walk. She, she's looking up at me like, hey, what's up, ma? What you doing? Just here to hang out. <laughs> um... So, that's it for Ayana Makes It. Now I gotta do the next thing. Alright, signing off. Bye.